This is a ready grip. Some players have a ready grip, and when they hit clear drop smash, they don't change it, they just go. And number one, when they do hold ready grip, they need full action to generate the power, full action to do the pronation. 100% pronation is needed when they do not change. This is important. In the real match, if 10 shots are coming to that corner or that corner, one shot or two shot, you may be able to use 100% pronation because you have time. Many other shots, you are not able to use 100% pronation. Why? You don't have a space to do it. You don't have a time to do it. Let's say shuttle is already here. Attack clear. Flicked. Shuttle is there. How can you do the 100% pronation? Not simply possible. In that situation, out of 100% pronation, you should be doing 5% pronation only. Already changed the grip. So, very little pronation, you can hit it. If you have this grip and try to do pronate it, it will go out. It will hit. You will chop. Shuttle will go to the net. The players who do not change grip not able to hit the shuttlecock in, the, in front of their body. Here, in front, they cannot make a racket flat. It will chop. So players who are not changing grip, most of them, they turn it, compensate it, and they hit side of their body to suit their grip. They change everything to suit their grip, their vision, their way they swing it. They change everything for this. My argument is, if you change grip 10 degree here to just a little bit, you will be able to hit many shuttlecocks with 20, 30% of pronation, not 100% of pronation which means more deceptive, more choices. Look, I change a little bit. I can do straight drop shot, cross drop shot. Smash, clear. Check smash. But if I don't change at all, straight drop shot will be suffer. Cross drop shot, I have to do the big action. Mostly, when I don't change grip, my swing has to be three times bigger. I need three times more time. I need three times more space to do it. My argument is, why don't you change grip a little bit, 10 degrees, and have a, a lot more freedom, a lot more choices, a lot more deceptive shots. But be careful. I said 10 degrees for real court to hit. If you change 20 degrees, then your shot will be like that. Shuttle will go that side. If you don't change grip at all, and you smash, then clear 10, 20% shuttle court will go that side because you will be chopping it. So try, ready? Shuttle goes up, watch my hands, change grip. Look, shuttle up, change grip, pull, set. You're ready to do whatever show you can. Ready? Watch my hands, change. Watch my rocket face, ready grip at the moment. I changed. Can you see? My rocket face turns a little bit. There, that allow me to do a lot more shots. Same, here. 
shuttle goes, change. There. Instead of doing that, because I changed the bit, I can do that. Because I changed the bit, I can do that. If I don't change it, I can do that. I have to do that. Ready. Change. Ready. Look. Look. Bang. Hit the shuttle. Come. When you are setting, change. Slowly. Set. Shuttle is going. There. Please. Try change grip for clear drop smash 10 degree not 20 degree not 30 degrees that's wrong too that will give you so much freedom so much um, comfort to do whatever shot you try to do whatever corner you try to do